Okay, Blue Family. So, we have this video. Let's analyze it. Let's see what we can do better as police officers. Okay, so as you can see, this guy is fucking drunk or high or dumb. All of the above. You already can see his anymore, so maybe the officer didn't put him too tight or for whatever reason maybe this some people can dislocate their their thumbs and they're able to do that so all right Okay, so he already advised this patch regarding the situation in the back seat. The, like I said, the suspect slipped the handcuffs off, and now he's like banging at the doors and banging at the back uh, screen and creating a mess. Okay, so this guy reached inside his pocket. We don't know what what he has, right? Well, we're about to find out. Oh my God! It's a lighter. He's trying to light the the police car on fire. Well, that's not gonna happen, buddy. But this is going to happen because you are not wearing your seatbelt like you're supposed to. Okay, don't get me wrong, I feel really bad for the officer because well, that situation is not pretty and none of us want to be in that situation. I don't feel bad for this guy. But what can we handle? How can we handle this? What can we do? Well, first of all, as soon as you see the suspect slip off those handcuffs, uh, assuming that you search him top to bottom correctly so there is no weapons, well, he, the, I don't like to assume, okay, as a police officer, I like to assume, but in this case, let's say that he already searched him top to bottom, there is no weapon, well, the best thing to do is pull over, call for backup, pull over, get him out of the car, you might have to use a little bit of force, and put the handcuffs back, because now, you're rushing to get to jail, you're... I don't know exactly how the accident happened, but I'm a, like, for example, let's say that he wasn't paying attention because now he's trying to rush, he's trying to look in the rear view mirror, what is this fucker doing? I mean, there's a lot going on in his head, on the officer's head. So this guy is creating a situation for the officer. Now, remember, you have to control every situation, you have to control the scene, this is part of your scene. Remember, the scene starts when you get the call, and it finish when you finish the call, either going 10-8, no report, citation, whatever, or if you have a suspect, like in this case, all the way to jail, you book him in, and you walk out with your paperwork, that's when the scene finishes. Okay? So remember, be careful. Make sure you handcuff correctly. If it, for whatever reason, the, the handcuffs slip off, then stop. Handcuff the guy again, call for backup if needed, and be safe. 